Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Rue Dynasty and I'm back at again with another video. So today's video is going to be showing you how I installed this um, 5x5 wig sent to me by SVT Hair. And they sent me a 5x5 HD body wave, 22 inches. And I decided to um, go ahead and change it up, have some colour. It was originally, I believe, one um, colour 1B, or natural black. And I decided to do the skunk um, stripe method. And I decided to also bleach the knots as well. So now I'm just showing you how I'm going to pluck the closure to make it more um, frontal like and also to kind of take away some of the hair so it doesn't look as dense. So this is how one side of the hair already looks like and I'm just now going to part in sections and pluck away the hair. Making sure I don't pluck too much but just a good amount so it still looks very nice as you can see. Now I'm going to go ahead and curl the hair and pin the curls so it stays longer. I'm also going to go with my got to be spray and spray it so it stays. So this is how the hair looks on my hair and I haven't even glued it yet. This is just how it starts. I'm going to go ahead and use my bedhead hairspray to spray down the lace. And mind you, this bedhead um, spray is so good. It's so strong. It's like, it's better than got to be, to be honest. It's a better alternative to got to be. It's also a great alternative for lace glue. For those girls that don't like to wear lace glue, this is a very good alternative because it's very secure. Your hair stays on for, for me, it's staying on for like a week. So you guys need to really cut that. I'm now going to go in with my rubbing alcohol and clean off the residue of my makeup that I did. And just make sure that area is nice and clean before I go ahead and spray. So I do have detailed videos of how I install my wigs. So I just went in with um, two layers of bedhead um, spray and then I blow dried it on a cool heat just to make sure it kind of tacky, not completely dry. And then I'm going to press the lace in my skin. Make sure that the lace is in front of the spray and I'm going to press that in. I'm going to also use my wrap towel comb just to press that in and make sure that it's nice and dry. And one thing about this spray, it, it dries so quickly. You don't even have to do too much. Like it dries super fast. So now that I have the um, rat tail comb, I'm just brushing in my hair and just making sure everything is nice and stuck completely. I'm brushing the flowers. I'm kind of like kind of molding the hair where I want it to be. And yeah, then I'm going to go with my baby hairs. I don't really know if I want to have baby hairs, but because it's really like cute as it is. But I might go in with some small baby hairs. And I'm just spraying the curls with some got to be just to keep them in place. Taking my um, razor, I'm just now going to cut the lace in a zigzag motion, making sure it doesn't, I don't cut off the whole entire thing. And it's just the excess lace that I need to do. I'm just making sure that this side is identical to the other side as well, because you don't want to cut off too much lace on this side. You have to make them identical and symmetrical. And now that I'm done that, I'm just going to, Go ahead and the areas that I didn't glue, I'm going to use my spritz and spritz over and then wrap my hair. I think I'm going to take out the baby hairs first and then I'm going to then wrap my hair with an elastic band. Now it's up to you how much baby hairs that you want to have. But for this look, I want to have three. Um, Normally, I normally have two, but for this look, I kind of want to have three. So I'm going to have two on the side and then one in the middle. And I'll show you how that's going to look. And I'm just taking out some hair and putting back some because I don't think I'm going to need that much baby hair because I kind of want it to be minimal and just classic. Now, you can never go wrong with baby hairs. It doesn't matter what kind of style you like, whether it's exaggerated or minimal baby hairs. With this look, you can do anything. That's what I like about closures. Closures, you can decide to do two, none, or just like exaggerated big baby hair so it just depends on what you like and how you want the hair to suit you so now i'm just plucking the lace a little bit more just to get it to my liking and yeah and i feel like this hair really did bleach well as you can see that the knots really match my skin shade and the hair itself bleached wonderfully like when i dyed this hair 
I was not expecting it to come out this great. And mind you, I didn't even need to do too much. I didn't need to deep condition it like that. The texture was so good. It's very silky. It's very smooth. It didn't shed as much. So I really do I really love and appreciate this hair and this company that sent me this hair because it's very, very good quality hair. So now that I've wrapped the elastic band around my hair, I'm now going to go in with my razor again and cut the excess hair off the areas where I want the baby hairs to be because it's in my face and I can't really see. So while that's, I'm going to cut that off, I'm going to wait for the hair to kind of melt and marinate. And then I'm going to go ahead and take off the um, band in like 10 minutes and style my baby hairs. And I'll come back. So I'm back guys and now I'm going to take my pencil straighteners and just curl upwards my baby hairs. I just do this all the time and this is like the new method that I've learned to do. And I'm going to also then cut those excess baby hairs because I don't, I don't want them to be that long. But I'm just going to curl it up first and then cut it and mould it using my spritz. Now that I've cut the hair, I'm now using my spritz just to mould the baby hairs in the way I want them to be. And I like using spritz other than gel because I feel like this is a better way of how I want it to lay and it just lays flat. Some people like to use mousse and it just depends on the look I'm trying to go for. And I kind of want these baby hairs to stay in place. So that's why I use spritz. As you can see, I'm just repeating the exact same motion I did on that side for the middle baby hairs. And I'm going to do the exact same thing for the other baby hairs as well. I always just spray two two tiny drops of the sprint. I don't want too much on it because I kind of want it to lay a certain way. And you kind of want it to do this fast because the sprint does dry very fast. So I went ahead and changed what I was wearing and added some lip gloss and lashes. And now I'm just going in and recurling the front to be more, um, what do you call it, bouncier and more curled. I do like a very nice loose wave. Um, this hair was originally body wave, so it's going to keep the curls and retain them very well. That's what I like when it comes to curling hair. I always like to get body wave because the curls pop even more. Right now, I'm just spraying it more got to be and running my fingers through it just to run through the curls. And you can see that this hair is really nice and bouncy. It's cute. It's everything that I always wanted. And yeah, the colors really well. I really loved how it's giving that ombre effect. Like you can see the scone stripe at the front and then the bottom is giving you some like ombre effect. So I really do like that. And like I said before, this hair was sensing by SVT hair and I will link everything in the description box below. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Join the gang, join the mafia period. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.